Hello and welcome back to Multiventure X. We are back with another video where we will be discussing the disbursement process in the marketplace. Disbursement is a part of cash flow and it's a record of the day-to-day -day business transaction. Hence, understanding the disbursement management techniques would guide you to monitor the structured payments while benefiting with interest. Multiventure X allows two kinds of payment disbursement process an automatic disbursement or the online payment process and a manual disbursement or the offline payment process. Keeping the introduction out of the way, let's understand each of the disbursement process one at a time. Let's start with the automatic disbursement or the online payment. The automatic disbursement or the online payment method is the one in which the payment received by you after every transaction is automatically transferred from your account to the respective vendor account. When it comes automatically disbursing payments, you can set up a disbursement schedule based on which vendors would receive their payments. To set up the disbursement schedule, this is what you need to do. From the admin dashboard, navigate to multivendor X settings. Once transported, click on the disbursement tab. We will skip this few admin settings of which we will discuss later in this video. Directly scroll down to select the disbursement schedule option. Once selected, you can disburse the payment on hourly basis. When selected, the vendors would receive the commission on hourly basis, daily basis, where at the end of the day, the vendor would receive the commission from product sold that day. Weekly. When selected, vendors would receive their commission at the end of the week. Fortnightly. Here the payment sent to the vendor's account from the admin's account would reach him after every 14 days. Monthly. The vendors would receive their commission or payments every month once this option is selected. Manual disbursement or offline payment. In case of manual disbursement, the vendors can request the withdrawal of their commission. Once the withdrawal request is made, admin would then transfer the payment to the vendor's account. Manual disbursement or the offline payments occurs when the vendor selects the direct bank transfer as a payment method. Before a vendor can ask to withdraw their payment, certain conditions are to be set before the withdrawal request can be made. Here is how we will go about it. Disbursement Threshold The minimum amount the vendor must have in his multi-vendor X banking account before he can request a withdrawal of his payments. You can set the disbursement threshold amount after which the vendor would be able to request their payments. Let me set the amount as $200, which means when the total vendor commission adds up to this amount, the vendor can then request for a withdrawal. In case you want your vendors to withdraw the amount prior to the fixed disbursement value due to any emergency, swipe right to allow your vendors to request for the withdrawal. To give vendors the option to withdraw commission, you will have to enable the withdrawal request option available here by swiping right. Withdrawal locking period The minimum amount of time required before the vendors can redeem their payment is signified by withdrawal locking period. Let us set the withdrawal locking period as 2, which means the vendors would not be able to request a withdrawal till 2 days after the order date passes. An important point to remember, without completing the conditions of disbursement threshold and withdrawal locking period, the request button would not appear on the vendor dashboard. These two settings are correlated to each other. Let's start with the second one. You can be more lenient towards your vendor by offering them a few trials for requesting commission. Let me replace the blank space with 5, which signifies you will not charge any extra amount from the vendors till it exceeds the free withdrawal period. Set the amount to 50 a convenient charge that the vendor has to pay every time they request for a commission withdrawal once they exist their free withdrawal benefit. We will conclude this tutorial with the last setting which will allow you to set which order statuses will be applied for withdrawal request. Once the order statuses is selected by you, 
from the drop down, the vendor will be able to request for a commission withdrawal from their dashboard. On hold, which is the stage right after an order is placed. Processing. This refers to when the order is out of delivery but yet to reach. Completed. This means the vendors would be able to withdraw their payments after the order shows the completed status. Before we end this video, let's take a look at the first few settings that we have missed while discussing the disbursement process. Share Coupon Discount This is an interesting option that comes with managing coupons. Selecting this option would mean that vendor commission would be calculated after deducting the discount and so you would not have to bear the cost of the coupon by yourself. As I'm not dealing with any coupons for now, I will be leaving it as it is. Admin created coupon excluded. This option works only if the share coupon option is enabled when the coupon is created by you, then a discounted amount available on the coupon would be deducted from your commission and not from the vendor. Going on to the tax option, as we are very familiar with the term tax, because whenever we listen to this term, we get a bit intimidated. Anyways, by enabling this option, the tax collected would pass on to the vendor. In case it is not enabled, the tax collected would remain with the admin. If enabled, the shipping cost received would pass on to the vendor. In case it is not enabled, the shipping cost received would remain with the admin. With this, we have come to the end of our video. If you like the tutorial, then do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Click on the small red bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thank you for watching.